Hello, my name's Robert Dean Steele, and today we're looking at Hebrews chapter 13, 20 to 21. I'm going to do this in two videos. So, Father, we thank you today for the first of this video from Hebrews chapter 13, 20 to 21. And now we ask your blessing upon it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, he says, may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good to do his will. So here is Paul, or I should say the writing of the writer of Hebrews, which I happen to think was Paul. But anyway, we don't really know 100% sure. But we do know that there's a God of peace who will bring and brought up from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ. And he is known as the great shepherd of the sheep. And what was by his blood of the, the eternal covenant, he is going to equip us with everything that we need to do to do his will. God has a plan. God has a purpose and God has a will. And it all came through Jesus Christ, through his death, his burial, his resurrection, his broken body and shed blood. And what we need to do today is recognize that God has equipped us to do something. He's given us the armor of God. He's given us the word of God. He's given us the avenue of prayer. He's given us that wonderful shield of faith, that word of God, that uh, breastplate of righteousness, gird our Lord into the truth, taking up the shield of faith and the word of God. We got the, both the weapons, the armor, and also as well, the enablement of the Lord to do everything that we're called to do today. And how is that to happen? There is an eternal covenant. What's the eternal covenant? That covenant is the new covenant that was brought to us through the blood of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ died on the cross and he allowed his body to be broken and his blood to be shed, it all had an eternal purpose. And that eternal purpose was to give us eternal and abundant life and enable us to be his representatives and also as well, his ambassadors in our world. And so the writer of Hebrews says, listen, God's peace can bring that with you. But also as well, you need to recognize that he's the shepherd of your life. You know, David said in Psalm 23, he says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When you recognize that he is the good shepherd and he supplied everything that you and I need to become the uh, the type of believers that we're supposed to be and the type of people that we're supposed to be, it is so much easier than trying to do it ourselves. And he also says, we are to do the will of God. You know, as I, I, I think about this so often, what did Jesus' number one thing to do? He wanted to do the will of his Father. And if we do that, we are doing, and we are a long ways uh, in fulfilling the will of God for our lives. So let's pattern our lives after Jesus Christ and let his peace and let his hope and the reality of what he did sink in today. So, Father, once again, we thank you for the incredible opportunity, Lord, to be able, Lord, to do your will. Help us to do it with excellence and with honesty. We ask it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if you like what you've been hearing, I would encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Robert Dean Steele.